Emily was in her front yard. She was using her iPod to shoot this video. Soon, instead of focusing on the man, one officer turned on her. I'm not disturbing to watch. Good spent a couple of hours in jail before being released on bail. She is back in court on Monday. It's possible, though, that the Monroe County DA could throw out the charges. Emily Good and her attorney, Stephanie Stair, join me now live. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Stephanie. Emily. Thank it, you for having us. Yeah, it's really good to talk to you. Now, we're going to play the exchange that you have with the officer. First, though, why were you filming the police? I was concerned about the racial profiling. I had just read an article that week in the local paper about racial profiling and how difficult it is to prove. And when I saw the lights come in through my window, I peeked outside and saw three white officers um, engaging with a black man. And so I decided to film it. So you're somewhat of an activist, am I correct? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go to your video now. Just, this is my front yard. I'm just recording what you're doing. It's my right. Actually, not from the sidewalk. This is my yard. I don't feel safe with you standing behind me. Someone asking me to go in your house. You understand? I don't feel safe with you standing behind me. And you, I... seem to have, you seem to be very uh, anti-police. So I don't feel safe with you standing behind me. Why do you mind standing in the house? I'm going to stand in my yard if that's okay. Due to what you said to me before you started taping, I think uh, you need to stay in your house, guys. What did I say to you I that offended you? I'm behind us officers when we're doing a, a traffic stop. I'm allowed to stand in my yard. We'll stand in your house. I'm allowed to stand in my yard. I'm, I'm going to stay more, in my... I'm going to ask you one more time. We don't feel safe with you standing right behind us when we're doing a traffic stop. I'm going to ask you to go into the house. What? Well, I, yes. It's my right to be in my yard, and I'm sorry that so you don't you're, feel you're safe. All I have is a camera. I'm clearly wearing nothing. I have no weapons. That does not matter. What, you're, you're not listening to our orders right now. We don't feel safe with you standing behind us. You're not moving even a foot further back. You're going to be, you're going to be Do you want arrest. me to move a foot further back? Like, you're going to be under arrest. I already warned you. I will move a foot further back. I don't, I'm not going to go inside my house. I feel like I need you're the fresh air right now. Well, I'm arresting someone for not following police orders when we're asking. I, her I'm step asking back. you what it the seems order. Very simple. I don't understand I your asked order. You to not stand behind us, okay? You, you didn't you're ask me to this. not stand behind yes. you. Okay, listen. I'm not going to explain myself to you. What you're going to do is you're going to end up going to jail. I'm trying to give you a warning. You know what? You're going to go to jail. That's just not right. Okay, so we hear that's pretty much the whole thing. And you say your thoughts, pretty much as the entire confrontation played out, but. I want to get this straight. Did you have something in your free hand for that police may have been worried that you were carrying a weapon? No, I was carrying nothing. I was in bare feet and pajamas. Okay, so I, I don't understand this. And, and if you had been in the middle of the police officers, I see, but I'm not there, so I don't know. I mean, you, they may have probably genuinely felt uh, that you were in some way threatening them. I don't know. So. Stephanie, what do you yeah. make of this? As an attorney, were the police, was it okay for the police to do this? Do they have a legal right to do this in someone's front yard? Our position um, is that Ms. Good was well within her rights to be on her front lawn um, filming a traffic stop of a public servant. Um, what the officer may or may not have felt, I can't speak to, um, but she was well within her rights and was not given a lawful order at any time. Was there anybody else out on the, on the street or out watching? Yeah, I was outside with my friend and um, I had neighbors two doors down who saw the whole thing. Okay. Uh, yeah. And how long had you been there before the officer approached you? I stepped out into the garden and then I started taping pretty much immediately once I sort of was standing, so I, I just walked outside and stood there, and then I started taping. So every everything is on tape. I, I had just arrived at okay. the scene. 
Well, no, then what, what did you say to him? Why did he say that I see that you're anti-police? I said nothing that is not on tape to the officer. I had walked outside quietly without saying a word. Okay, and, and looking here, here, I want to read this. Um, this is what the Monroe County DA says. Uh, when I comment... But here's what the Rochester's mayor, excuse me, says. Police Chief Shepard has initiated an investigation to the extent that some form of discipline is appropriate. He will see that it occurs. I also need to be sure that we are fair to the officers involved. I am not going to prematurely reach a conclusion. Emily also needs to be sure that we are fair to the officers involved. I am not going to prematurely reach a conclusion. That's what he said. So, um, Emily, what do, you, what do you want to see happen here to that officer or do you just want the charges dropped and you're going to let it go i think um we're not going to comment on what may or may not happen to officer masick um we have every confidence that the rpd will conduct a thorough investigation and do whatever they feel is appropriate yeah um we have filed a motion to dismiss and it's our hope that the charges will be dismissed based on that motion okay listen i have to go seriously i only have five seconds here but do you understand also when an officer asks you to do something do you feel that you should do it and then ask questions later if it's a lawful order, someone should obey. If it's not, and if you're well within your rights, you're fine to uh, assert your rights. Good luck. Thanks to both Thank of you. you.